Hi, everyone. Today we're going to make the coolest suitcase for money. Where you'll be able to keep all the shavings that you have. Hi, guys. Before we begin, we need to paint all of the pieces of our craft. So let's come up with the color. What do you say, Sammy? I vote for black, Susan. It should look real. Then black it is. Whoosh. <laughs> that was easy. Actually, nothing is hard about this craft. But guys, you should be very careful with the glue gun. There. We need to glue a few more pieces from all sides of this piece of cardboard. Like this. And the top lid of our case will be ready. So, don't you think that our case should be more trouble-proof than a simple cardboard box? Don't worry, Sammy, it will be. Check out this piece, guys. This part over here will kind of combine the upper and the lower lids of our case. Shoo! Did you know that there are a whole bunch of movies where they show a briefcase loaded with money? Like, only this website mentions 170 of them. Well, that idea came to mind. In fact, now that you said it, the first movie I thought about was Catch Me If You Can. The story of a guy who pretended to be a pilot, a doctor, and a lawyer while he was still actually in high school. A oh, classic. <laughs> <laughs> Sammy, you know everything about it. Here comes another piece. We need to do it like this. Done. As I already said, there's nothing complicated about this craft. Oh, I like that our case will be black. Do you guys? Then give a thumbs up. Whoa, show, stop it. <laughs> guys, our money case will have a reliable combination lock. It's time to make it right now. Let's glue these pieces together so that we have two little wheels. And now we need to make them look neat. I'll show you one trick that all of you can perform. Wow! Sue, can you show me this one more time? Oh, sure, Sammy. Watch this. Hop! That was super easy, right, guys? I bet you also can show us a trick and subscribe to our channel. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, but, uh, Sue, why do we do that thing? Oh, I see. This way, not only these wheels will look good, but we'll also have some space to write the numbers for the code of the lock. Now I'll show you guys how we're going to use the rest of the parts of those cardboard strips. I've already made two more little wheels that are way smaller than the first ones. So, we take this cardboard strip and glue it around this wheel. Then we need to do the same with the second one. There, these pieces look like gears, right? And we've left a little opening right here. Watch this video till the end to find out why. What we need to do now is glue the smaller piece onto the bigger one. Be careful with the glue gun, guys. And the second one. Done! Shoo, I sense that you're gonna need this piece of cardboard now. Right, Sammy. I suggest that we speed up the process a bit. We need a few more details for the locks. Voila! Now we'll take skewers and put all the pieces on them one by one. Susie, why don't you take one and I'll deal with the other? Oh, that'll be great, Sammy. Okay, follow my lead. This piece goes first. Guys, be very careful with the skewers because they can be very sharp. Next comes this round piece, followed by another one like this. Oh, I almost forgot about this little square. <laughs> it goes right here. Now we need to secure this whole construction with some glue. Be very careful. And done. But we also need to paint this piece. Guys, don't forget to make a small cut for the lock. And done. How's it going, Sammy? Did you manage to repeat what I did? Are you kidding me? I finished faster than you. <laughs> oh, well, let's see. <gasps> oh, a moment. Uh-oh, I need to make sure everything's perfect. <laughs> Just admit it, you forgot to paint it, right? Uh, no, no, it's ready. Perfect. Then we're going to glue it over here. Guys, I want you to watch closely right now because I'm about to explain to you how our locks will actually work. We'll need two thingies like this one. There'll be some sort of hook that will hold the lid of the suitcase shut. 
like this, you see? If this piece doesn't go through this opening, the case stays closed. And to make sure that it does go through the opening, we'll roll these two wheels. What shoe? I thought you were talking about a code. What will it be? Hmm, let's see. We should come up with two digits, one per lock, and then we'll have a two-digit code. Oh, I know. Let's make a deal. I'll go and glue these strange-looking pieces to the case's lid while you pick one digit. Then we'll switch turns. Oh, that's actually a nice idea. Let's do it. At first, we'll use the marker to divide this wheel into sections like this. Guys, I start from number five to make Sam a bit confused. <laughs> hey, give me the marker, please. Thanks. Guys, while Sam is busy, take a moment to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell button. I promise you won't regret it. Now we'll see who confused whom. I tricked Sammy a bit. I can easily find out what his number was. Check it out. We'll turn this wheel a bit and... It works! <laughs> but we still aren't done with this craft yet. So I've been thinking, even though this case looks great as it is in the movies, they show these looking more, uh, expensive. Uh, what are you saying? Why don't we decorate the inside part of our money case with this gorgeous red velvet fabric? Ugh. I think that's a great idea, Sammy. Let's do it. Guys, be very careful with the scissors. And before cutting anything, make sure that you took all the measurements properly. And we're done. Let's apply some glue. Be careful with the glue gun, guys. Okay, this will be enough. And now we'll evenly spread the fabric all around the inside part of the money case. Oh, this will take some time. Let me help you, Shujin. Samuel the Great is at your service. Ahem. Alakazoo, alakazam! <laughs> Oopsie, wrong spell. <laughs> bibbidi bobbidi tip -tibbidi. That's better. Wow, guys, just look how awesome our case looks. You were right, Sammy. Decorations make the deal. Actually, I also have one idea. Can I borrow your magic wand, please? Here it is, Shu. Ahem. Decoriticus. <laughs> Did you also pronounce the wrong spell? <sighs> Not exactly. Check this out. This piece over here will hold the lid of our case. Doesn't it look even more real now? All we've left to do is to add a few decorative elements on the outside. I'd say golden edging will look great on a black suitcase for money. For this, we'll need the glue gun again. Okay. Let's start from here. I must admit, Shu, your taste for matching colors is just perfect, but our case is still missing one little thing. I know, Sammy. A handle. We'll make it right now in no time. We'll need more cardboard. Three popsicle sticks. And some glue. Don't forget to be careful with the glue, Sushi. I'm on it, Sammy. Oh my! Time to bring my treasure that will keep in that case! <laughs> Sammy. <laughs> and here it is! Guys, why don't we take a minute and check out our suitcase in all its glory? Samantha is here with her incredible crafts. It's Lime Sam's channel, actually. Yeah, yeah. Well, you may assist me if you like. Of course I do. Hi. Wait a minute. Good. Go cut these sticks into squares. I can do that. Of course you can. Right. This craft consists of many different small pieces, and I will write the measurements on the pieces themselves for convenience, so pay attention to that. <laughs> 
By the way, Sam shouldn't guess what I'm making this for, okay? What shouldn't Sam guess? What I'm going to ask you to do next. Well, I really have no clue. What are we making? Curiosity <laughs> killed the cat. Oh no, I won't be curious. I care oh, enough, Fluffy. Oh, good for you. Right. Um, I don't have any rubber bands. Get me a few. Oh, I'm an errand slime again. But I'm an artiste. I want to create! If you grumble, I'll make this craft without you, uh, Mr. No, Alice. Uh, no grumbling! I'm off. Go on! <laughs> and I'll start assembling the lock mechanism. First, I'll take this piece and cut a rectangle in it. Well, I don't think I need to remind you that you should be careful with the cutter. Fingers are quite a useful part of your body. Make sure not to cut through cardboard along one side. It'll be a door. And on the back side, we'll cut some openings for the buttons. Sam is making wooden squares for them. Hey, he hasn't brought them yet, and I've already sent him from the rubber band. I wonder what excuse he'll come up with now. Rubber band. This is actually quite suspicious. And if Samantha's hiding something from me, maybe you know what she's hiding. Write in the comments! And I'll continue searching for the rubber bands. No idea where they are. But I can do it! But, uh, subscribe to the channel, please, to give me confidence. It feels like I've forgotten something. And the last one. These are the openings for the buttons we've made. Turn it over. Let's start making the lock. We'll need two solid sticks. They'll go right here. And three sticks with notches. The notches should be right under the button openings. Like this. Let's lay them out. Like this. And secure them with glue. One drop on each side of the stick. Don't glue the grid itself. It should move freely. To hold the grid in place, we'll need these pieces made of two sticks. Let's glue them in place. I'll use hot glue gun this time. It should hold really well. There! And I'll repeat the process with the second piece. The same few steps. This will allow the grid to move. And let's add a stopper to make sure the grid doesn't fall out. Great! Now let's make levers for the buttons. That's actually my secret for the mechanism. Look, these pieces are for the correct numbers that will unlock the safe. And these are for the numbers that aren't part of the code. We need to glue each of these pins to wooden squares, which Sam was supposed to bring a long time ago. Someone said Sam and wooden squares? We are here in a flash. Yeah, your flash almost blinded me. Get them here. Hmm, well done. And where are the rubber bands? Still searching. Am I supposed to look for them myself? Well, I didn't find them. Someone hid them somewhere. Someone hid them and someone can find them. For example, one slime I know. Yeah, yeah, I get the hint. I'm off. Hmm, and if we are out of rubber bands, then it won't work. Let's hope for the best. Guys, do you think rubber bands and crafts can be replaced with something else? Write in the comments. And the buttons are done. Now I'll turn it over. And we need to glue the frame for our code lock. I'll apply some glue to the sides of the frame. They are narrow, so they need extra attention. Carefully now. And done. Now we need to insert all buttons. I only need to come up with and remember the code. These rubber bands? Yes, well done. Go take a rest. No, oh, no, I can help. I've heard the word code on my way here. Which code? I can help you come up with it. I'll manage, believe me. You can cut more cardboard pieces. Uh, I'm also do small ones, but fine. Phew, he's gone finally. I'll come up with the code quickly. Pause the video now and try to guess it by writing three numbers from 1 to 9 in the comments. I've got the code. All lever buttons are inserted and secured. Look, here are large sticks with openings. And here are the small ones. And the rubber band. I'll make a holder for the rubber band. One. And two. Let's attach it. Great! Uh, I still have no clue what you're making. Do you remember about Curiosity and a cat? Okay, I'll go play with Fluffy! Right, I'll glue the stopper that will keep the door closed, like this. Now look, if you press the right numbers, the grid moves and the door opens. And if the numbers are incorrect, the grid will stay in place and the door will remain closed. That's approximately how real code locks work, but of course, they aren't made of cardboard. However, I think a cardboard save will be enough to let Sam know what I mean. Give a thumbs up if you agree. Right. Now, I need to make a mechanism that will reset the code. It's a very important thing, because otherwise the code can only be entered once, and who needs that? Let's make a grid out of these sticks. I will add three drops of glue onto the grid. 
Now we'll need a stick with a rubber band on it. And we'll glue it to the grid. To install that part into the lock mechanism, we need to glue little pieces with oval openings. I'll insert the stick into the opening and glue the second little piece. Let's add several pieces made of sticks. Now it's time for the thread. Uh, what? Oh, <laughs> was it your thread? I thought it was for playing with Fluffy. You've played with it, all right. Fine, I'll cut off the fluffy end and pull the thread through the opening. I need to tie it tightly. Sam, don't just stand there. Go get a black marker. I'll need it soon. How soon? Well, I don't know, in a couple of minutes? Okay! Right, look, if you press the buttons and then pull the thread, the buttons will reset. Here is the reset button itself. Let's insert it into the opening and turn it over again. I'll pull the thread through this opening. Uh, it's almost like threading a needle. Well, maybe it's just a bit bigger. Now we'll cover it with a little box. Here we'll need special wood glue again. I will apply it to the bottom of our little box. I need to secure the thread with glue as well. Can there be too much glue? <laughs> and cut off the excess. Now, we need to make holders for the rubber bands on both sides of the little box. The pieces are so small, I need to use a special tool for this step. Great, let's pull the rubber bands over. I hope it holds. Done, the bottom works. And these pieces will make a handle for opening the safe. A bit of cardboard magic. Fantastic! And on the back side, We'll glue the holders to block the door if a wrong code is entered. These pieces are so small, but without them, the code lock isn't going to work. That's right. Look, if the code is correct, the handle turns and the grid moves. And if the code is incorrect, the stopper won't allow the handle to turn. Isn't that genius? I'm so excited, I don't want to stop until I assemble the whole safe. I only need to assemble the cardboard pieces now. Here they are! And the marker too. Yes, well done! <laughs> First of all, let's assemble the box that will cover the code lock mechanism. Samantha, I think I know what you're making. And? A toy fridge. A fridge? Well, yes. For your doll. Shh, not in front of the viewers. <laughs> well, you know what I'm really making here. Not for dolls at all. Right, let's glue the box in place. Great! To make sure the door doesn't slam, we'll glue small stoppers. Pieces like these. It's gotta be a fridge! You Mr. Fridge Lover, you'd better get me a snack from the real fridge. I've been sitting here crafting for ages. Fine. And I'll assemble the safe box itself. It's easy peasy. That's it. I only need to take the black marker and mark the parts of the code lock. Reset all the numbers. And I also need to show which way the handle opens. There. I'm gonna show you the code now. Just, shh, don't tell Sam. I'm applauding those of you who guessed the right combination. Samantha, the fridge is kind of empty, but I brought you something from my own stash. Give them here. Oh, thank you, dear Sam. And? And that's it. Now these are mine. They are in the safe with a code lock, but I'm not going to tell you the code. But I've been helping you! But you've been stealing my candies. 